Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you a few things that you should do before you start shiny hunting in Tales of Tenorio. So, let's get straight into it. The first thing you are going to want to do is complete the game. You will know when you've gotten to the end of the game when you've reached Kaigen Cliffs. This is because you want to be able to maximise where incenses might be from where players place it. And if you unlock everywhere, then you can obviously get to most places and hunt. So it maximizes what you can possibly hunt. Then what you're going to want to do is grind as much money as possible and get loads of Tano cans and a few potions. So you can obviously catch stuff and heal if you need to. Then what you're going to want to do is get your Tenorians to max level, which is level 40. This will allow you to just find it a lot easier to weaken the Tenorians and catch them when you actually do battle them. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this trainer up in the Kaiken Cliffs is the best EXP giver in the game at the moment. But don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they are. Once you're in your desired area to hunt, make sure to go after one specific Tenorian at a time when shiny hunting. This is because each time you KO a specific Tenorian, you build up a chain. And this chain, as it increases, the odds of the shiny Tenorian you're going for drop. So it becomes easier to obviously find it. And make sure you stay away from any other Tenorians, any other trainers, just anything like that where you can accidentally end up killing another Tenorian that's not part of your chain until you get to a chain of 50. Because if you do accidentally kill another Tenorian that's not the one you're going for, it will reset your chain. So be extremely careful of that. As for overworld versus actual grass kind of hunting, do a mixture of both. If you see the Tenorian you're trying to chain for in the grass, run up to it. Because you obviously get that as a guaranteed encounter. And if you can't get any of them, just go into the grass, encounter something, and hope it will be that. Because the overworld spawns are not the most reliable. And with that being said, I think that's everything I kind of need to talk about in this video. So hopefully this proves useful for just getting you started with hunting and you can find what you want. So if you guys did enjoy this, liking, subscribing would be great and I will see you in another video. Goodbye!